and hello to each and every one of you and all of you on my new rumble channel and if you are listening to this on Catherine Edwards channel or Maria Bernardes or Esoteric Atlanta uh, my monthly astrology will be going out on all of those platforms uh, from you know until forever however it's also going to be up on my rumble and the address for that is tamara and it's a capital t e y m a r a space inc capital i n c so here we go with our july energy and as we farewell june's energy of death and transformation many of you will acknowledge changes that have taken place in your lives if not externally, then internally or both. July is telling us to brace ourselves as truths will surface. This is the energy of America, this particular month vibration of July 2023. So a lot of focus will be on that country or whatever is coming out of that country. Freedom is the word being yelled from rooftops as many will start to feel the controlling energy that is being applied in order to have people rise up and take their power back. So the vibration of the month of July is about freedom and freedom is the energy vibration of America. And of course, what month is better than launch the sound of freedom? that I've been following that journey from many years ago, wondering when on earth is this going to be launched? And so of course it's now, it's now and it's the month of July and it's the 4th of July of this year. And the four and the seven comes to 11, which is the illumination energy. And also it's the energy vibrations of Jesus. And then the whole of it comes to an energy vibration of nine, which is about endings. So it's called, yeah, it's time. It's time for us all to rise up and say enough is enough and to take care of all of our children. And how do we do that? For those that are still walking around in a daze, we put this out and we put it in their faces because they haven't woken up from anything else. Now, the first lot of energy for the month that we'll all be working with is going to be quite emotional and that will play its part until the 23rd and from the 23rd on, I'm just wanting to let you all know things are going to be hotting up trying to create as much balance as possible until the 10th is a good idea because then explosive communication the 11th until the 20th wow but then more grounded energy from the 21st through until the 31st i'm seeing a lot of volatile energy concerning all relationships until the 23rd and then after that I feel this really strong energy of reassessment that will be called upon. So we know with the relationship energy, it's relationship with self, with others, and it's between leadership and it's also between countries. I also feel a lot of moving forward with force until the 9th and then standing your ground with decisions made right through until the 31st. So you have to stand very much in your own power. Heated energy will be on the 9th and the 10th, again at the 19th and the 20th, and followed by the 29th and the 30th. And I've zoomed right into the dates of the 11th and the 12th. And I, and I smiled. I had to smile to myself because on the 11th and the 12th of July, Donald Trump Jr. will be here in Melbourne and he will be giving talks so i just like i said i had to smile and they are very very important significant days as the moon will join planet jupiter in the same sign so this will be an awesome time to actually put your ideas forth as others will be more receptive 
So I'm looking forward to being in the audience on the 11th and then talking to my girlfriend who is going on the 12th to see how the energy played out. Now, we then move on and I'm looking at the ending of a cycle. The ending of the cycle and I'm seeing a whole new cycle opening up for us in the world. And that new cycle will see the releasing of a lot of burdens that we've been carrying. And I don't know about all of you who are listening in. Many of you not, may not be aware of exactly what has been going on on the planet. Others are. Others are coming awake to it. But many of us have been carrying burdens of a lot of truth, a lot of knowing of what's been going on. However, being met with hostility if ever we opened our mouths. So we've carried this burden in silence and only connected in with the members of the human race that became awake and to understand and start to question. So a lot of then what is going to come in, all of this emotional happiness and fulfillment will come in. Taking care of one's health is going to be very important the month of July. And I'm also picking up um, dissatisfaction. So it's about looking at things the way that it is. And yes, there will be a lot of dissatisfaction because a lot is going to come up. And when people realize about what I have been writing in my posts on all of my social media over the past three to four years, three to four years, two million children go missing in the world every, every year. Two million children. And then I've just posed the question, where are they? And it's just been absolutely staggering the amount of people that have never, ever responded to that post, that have never asked, yeah, two million, really? Really? Where are they? Where would they be? And what have we got coming out this month? Sound of freedom. You will start to learn where all of these children have been going. What has been happening to these children? Why it is that these children have disappeared? Disappeared. Not found murdered. Disappeared. Never to be seen again. So I am in such a joyous space right now because I know that there are going to be many children that will be reunited with their parents but a lot of care will be taken and I know the powers that be I know that they've got everything in place to give the healing to these children that is going to be badly needed now, we do see a lot of forming of new relationships that will be taking place. So many relationships will sever over this. This Well, it's, well it started in June. A lot of relationships severed in June. A lot of friendships severed in June. But we're going to see more of that happening in the month of July. Turning our backs, walking away from everybody and everything that's no longer relevant. Shallow people out of your life out of your life time for you to delve and if you've been living a shallow life over the past three years it's time for you to start looking below the surface of what exactly has been going on many will be sitting on the fence biding their time and they are all of those that have been awake for a long time very aware of what has been going on and what is still going on that is now coming to an end but sitting on the on the fence and being patient this is another big thing that i'm saying to people who are aware who are awake be patient you've got a roof over your head you've got food on your table just think of the children and what has been happening to those children 817 children were found in a barge off the coast of San Francisco recently. So a whole lot of barges were there, all parked. But somebody got a tip off and in went the military and opened up and went through all of those barges. And on one of those barges were 817 children. 
child sex trafficking they got them so this is what is still going on so those that are getting impatient just always remind yourself of those 817 children that were found that were found so as we stand on the front doorstep of the future we are looking out and we're having now to decide okay what's going to happen and i've got here justice must prevail so we've got more of this justice energy what else have we got what else have we got with this month of july gut feelings i don't know it's like i'm like a parrot with this every show that i'm on which you'll actually see my 33 favorite shows that i've done so far over these years um, they have all been um, uploaded onto my Rumble channel. And what I'm saying when I'm being interviewed on the panels is your intuition, your gut feelings, I call it our direct link to God. God gives us a gut feeling about everything. And what happens? Our left brain programming, having to be analytical, comes in and talks you out of it. The analytical where everything has to make sense. Well, I'm telling you now, a lot of things do not make sense. And when you get that gut feeling, that gut feeling doesn't make sense. And what's the difference between a gut feeling and a fear? A fear makes sense, a gut feeling doesn't. And every time you ignore your gut feelings, you're going to end up up the creek without a paddle. And then you're going to have to then work your way back down, back down the creek and then starting all over again. So gut feeling, gut feeling, gut feeling. How, what do you feel about somebody? If you are following on the platforms with the truth of community, who feels right? That's who you listen to because their energy vibrates with your energy and it's not about running down another person that's on another platform because their energy may be right for other people so long as as everyone is working toward the highest good and the truth and to support each other as we then see a lot cutting releasing and letting go of everybody and everything that's no longer relevant the death process is coming over the planet which is the death of everything that's no longer relevant to open up for what is which was our energy vibration of june we are at the end of a planetary cycle people we're getting ready to start this new planetary cycle so the energy that is going to come up from the sound of freedom is going to create a huge shift and change of energy and of course wonderful jim that is in that and jim played jesus christ in the passion of the christ and if anybody saw the passion of the christ it's like you will know what this is all about and mel gibson mate take my hat off to you you started it with the passion of the christ you've stood behind this with jim as he's taken on this particular role in the sound of freedom amazing and it's not fiction the sound of freezing freedom is not fiction so get a grip people Go in there, go in there with your with your box of Kleenex like you did for the Passion of the Christ because you are going to be needing them. Let me tell you. Now, bringing in a whole new way of thinking, looking at our work, look at what it is that we're doing. What difference does the career that we are working at, what difference is that making on the planet? How is that helping in any way, shape or form? Anything that is frivolous, it's like you will be looking at that and you'll be saying to yourself, I need to be doing something else. And if you get that gut feeling that that's what you need to be doing, go in search of. But don't just drop what you're doing and then have nothing because you still have to put food on your table. And at this particular point in time, there are still bills that have to be paid. Is there going to be an audacious victory? Yes, there is. What's going to happen this month? We've got a lot of truth that's going to be exposed. Truth and lies exposed as the light's going to shine on the dark. And it's only the light that exposes the dark. 
and there's only the two on the planet guys there's the dark the evil or there is the light which is the love which is our Jesus which is God and I'm not talking about Jesus and God to do with the church I'm talking about the real Jesus energy and I'm talking about the real God the creator energy lights being shone on what I've got here the card that represents children so the light is going to be shone on the children it's going to be exposed how how ready are you to learn exactly what has been going on there's going to be a lot of shift and changes a lot of shifts and a lot of changes that are going to be taking place i'm looking at monetary energy keeping your money to you but then we've got the money out there i'm looking at the money out there that belongs to you it's about you collecting that and it's about you bringing that money home because you know what within a heartbeat if everybody took all of their money out of the bank then the evil that has been running the whole of the planet nine organizations big companies run the planet they own Nestle they own this they own that they own something else if you look at these companies who own these particular brands you will be gobsmacked it's amazing and yet what have we been doing paddling along going to work making our money going out socializing would not have a clue what has been going on and you'll notice also on my rumble that there is slow poisoning one and slow poisoning two they were two shows that i did on esoteric atlanta um very interesting but i've been teaching all of that stuff since i started born to be free in 1991 so if you are a born to be free graduate that is listening to this you know what i'm talking about you guys know me so we've been on this journey and the journey has been the journey of self-mastering it's time for you to be your own magician it's time for you to master as you go through massive massive rebirth rebirths a lot of destruction is going to come in and destruction comes through in a lot of different ways it can be destruction of thoughts it can be destructions of, of actions that you take it can be buildings that are going to be destroyed but I'm seeing us coming up all together, standing our ground and defending. Defending, not leaving somebody over here to the left-hand side suffering. It's like doing something about it. And I'm seeing from that a lot of celebration and it's over the card of evil. So we're going to have a lot of energy, a lot of positive energy and a lot of celebration over the evil that has been going on on the planet as we then finish for the month of july with us breaking from all of the restrictions that have been around us do you hear it it's like breaking from all of the restrictions that have been around us being being feeling like we can't break free well have a guess what it's time and it's time that the freedom happened so what i am going to be gifting for everyone is every week i will be doing a weekly overview on my rumble channel and the address for that is tamara capital t e y m a r a and then a space and then ink capital i n c every week a weekly overview to support each and every one of you as we do the rest of this journey on the planet until we get out through the other side and everything then can move in the new direction that it is meant to move in and for us to have our lives be the way that it is meant to be and i know that the month of january when planet pluto goes back into aquarius where it's going to do its long stay and the aquarian pluto is all about power to the people so much love to you all and also 
on Rumble because it's my own platform, you'll be able to ask me questions. So if you're putting things in under, if you're looking at the different shows that I've done of the 33 of my favorite shows um, up until now, and we will be adding other shows that I actually do, that means that I'll be able to go in and I'll be able to answer all of your questions so that we can have that relationship and so that I can support you in the best possible way I know how. So over and out from downtown Melbourne, down here in Australia, and just love to you all. Thank you.